Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to learn how to integrate a Windows desktop or laptop with Home Assistant. It seems like such an obvious thing to do, but it's often overlooked. This will allow you to monitor all kinds of statistics about your Windows machine, control various actions on the desktop, such as restarting or opening various apps, and even use your Windows machine as a speaker. And probably the most important feature for me is the ability to send notifications to your Windows machine from Home Assistant. This will mean that when I have my headphones on, I'll never miss a Home Assistant notification again. So let's dive on in and see how we set up this integration. So to make this integration work, we're going to need an MQTT broker. This is a simple install from the add-on store. Navigate to Settings, Add-ons. Press the blue button in the bottom right-hand corner for Add-on Store. Search for and select Mosquito Broker. Press the install button. Once installed, turn on the watchdog. This will restart the add-on if it crashes for whatever reason. Optionally, you can add additional security with certificates and logins or passwords. If you want to implement a password for your Mosquito Broker, which I would always recommend, then jump over to the installation of the Zigbee to MQTT video in the link above and jump to timestamp two minutes and 22 seconds and shows you how to set up a user and a password Move over to the Configuration tab. Let's assume that you have set up your username and password for your user. In the Login section, paste the following code that will be in the description below. Change the MQTT user and the MQTT password to the ones that you have set up in your user. Now remember to save the section for the username and password. Switch back to the Info tab and press Start. Validate that the Mosquito Broker has started by the green dot in the top right hand corner. If the add-on fails to start, then click the logs. I'll put a link in the description to a triage page that lists off the main reasons for the Mosquito Broker failing to start. Now let's add the corresponding integration that will allow us to use this add-on. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services. Press the Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Search for MQTT. Select. Select the top entry of just MQTT. Our broker will be core-mosquito. Leave the port as 1883, unless you've changed this in the Mosquito Broker itself. For the username and password, enter the same username and password that you've entered into the Mosquito Broker. And press Submit. Success, we've created the integration. Press Finish. Now let's go and install the Windows component that will talk to Home Assistant. Go to your Windows computer that you are going to be monitoring. Navigate to the Has Agent GitHub page. Links will be in the description below. Scroll down to the ASIC section and select hasagentinstaller.exe. Open the executable file. If you are greeted with a user account control, accept. Select your setup language. In my case, English United States. Confirm your installation location. Press agree on the terms and conditions and press install. Has agent will ask you which interface language you require. It will also ask you for a device name. In my case, Home Lab. Press Next. As we don't want to have to start Has Agent every time we restart this machine, click Yes, Start Has Agent on System Login. Press Next. If you only have one instance of Home Assistant, then you can leave the server URI alone. If you have multiple, you will need to enter in the IP address of the individual instance that you wish to communicate with. Next, we'll need an API token. This is available from inside of Home Assistant. Switch back to Home Assistant. Navigate to your profile in the bottom left hand corner. Scroll to the bottom where you can create a token. In the long lived access tokens, press create token. Give it a name and press OK. Now press the copy command to the right of the token ID and switch back to your Windows machine. Paste in your token into the API token field. Press test connection. You should be greeted with the connection is OK. Press OK. Press next. On the MQTT screen, make sure that Enable MQTT is ticked. The IP address and host name can be left alone as homeassistant.local if you only have a single instance. If not, you will need to input the IP address of your Home Assistant. The username and password will be the MQTT username and password that we created and used before. Now press Next. Make sure that Enable Notifications and Enable Media Player is ticked. And press Next. Optionally, set a hotkey for accessing Home Assistant notifications or press Next. Set your preferences for your updates and press Next and you're done. Press Finish. Now let's go and check that everything is running. Navigate to your system tray in the bottom right hand corner. 
Press the up chevron. A new icon will have appeared for Has Agent. Right click, Show Has Agent. You should now see that the Home Assistant API is running, Satellite Services is running, and MQTT is running. Now let's add our sensors. Press Sensors. Press Add New. On the left hand side are the sensors that we can add and can be exposed to Home Assistant. For the purposes of the demonstration, we'll look at CPU load and we'll store that sensor by pressing the Store Sensor button at the bottom. Now we have selected our sensor that is exposed to Home Assistant. Press Store and Activate Sensor. Now let's switch back to Home Assistant. Go into Settings, go into Devices and Services, select MQTT, select our single device. You will now see the CPU load is being reported inside of Home Assistant from our Windows machine. Next, let's configure some commands so that we can control our PC from Home Assistant. Similar to how we added the sensors, we're now going to place the commands. Add new, and we have a whole host of different commands that we can control our PC with. Of the list of commands that you can perform on the PC, you can lock, restart, shut down, or even open a URL. For the purpose of the demonstration, we'll add a lock, shut down, and sleep. And now we'll store those commands and make them available and expose them to Home Assistant so that we can action them. You will see that the commands is now running. These are now exposed on side of Home Assistant. Let's go and check. Switching back to Home Assistant, going into Devices and Services, selecting our MQTT, selecting our core device, we can now see that Lock, Shut Down and Sleep are all commands that are available by pressing the button. These will also be available via a call service. For our final and probably most important additional of integration is going to be for speaker and notifications. For this, we're going to utilize a hacks integration. If you don't have hacks already installed, go to the link in the pop-up above or in the description below. Navigate to hacks. Next, select integrations. Press explore and download repositories. Search for has.agent. Select the top one. Press download and download again and wait for installation. Once installed, navigate back to the developer tools. Check your configuration, restart, confirm your restart and confirm again. Once Home Assistant has come back, we need to set up the integration. Go into Settings, Devices and Services. Home Lab should show up at this point in time. If not, you can still add the integration by searching for has.agent. Let's press Configure. Press Submit. As usual, I put all of these types of integrations into my system. And press Finish. Our Has Agent integration is now set up successfully. If we go into it and set the device, we can see now that we have a music player that we can send music to. Now for the second part of this integration, we're going to set up the notifications. Switch back to your desktop computer. First press the configuration button. Select notifications. Press show test notification. If you see a notification in the bottom right hand corner, the test notification worked. Now press OK and press save configuration. You'll need to restart your has.agent for this to become effective. Press restart. Has agent will restart and will become available in the system tray. Now let's move across into our home assistant and send notifications. To be able to send a test notification, we're going to use the developer tools. Navigate to developer tools. Navigate to the services tab at the top. We're going to be sending a notification to our home lab. Now we could search for notifications, but since home lab is only referenced once, let's just search for the home lab and select. Now type in an appropriate message and press call service. Moving back over to our Windows machine, we can see that the notification has appeared. In the example, we sent a simple message. However, this is the full functionality of the notification feature inside of Home Assistant. As such, you can send pictures or camera feeds if you require as well. I'll put the link in the description to the documentation associated with the has.agent. It's a very powerful tool and we've only basically scratched the surface here. Read through the documentation and see if there's any additional user cases that you can utilize it for. So that's the Has Agent running on a Windows machine that allows you to view the exposed sensors of that machine and report them back to Home Assistant. Then you get the ability to execute various commands on your Windows machines directly from Home Assistant. Now, although we didn't touch on this topic in the video, the ability to run shell scripts or power shell scripts is extremely powerful that I know all you coders are going to jump on. And the icing on top is the ability to use your Windows machine as an additional media player and my top feature, the ability to send notifications to my Windows machine, meaning I'll never miss a notification again. Great work, Labo2 Research. Links to the supporting documentation in the description below. 
If you've enjoyed the video, then please consider joining the active community, sharing the video and dinging that like bell and dropping a comment below. Until the next one, enjoy your new power over your Windows machines.